Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, you know, hey, some more news to the big fight coming up. You know, Terrence Crawford, L. Spence, we all know July 29th. It's the countdown and everybody's excited. We all excited. People that watch boxing a little bit, you know damn well you're excited, right? People that watch it a lot are even more excited. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. We, we, we get down. You know, we got a little information when they, when they, uh, when they talk. We got to tell you what they're talking about. And some things stick out, some don't, right? And here's something that stuck out with Terrence Crawford said. You know, matter of fact, I hadn't paid attention to that. Right? Terrence Crawford said, you know, well, L. Spence ain't beating no under, nobody under, under, uh, undefeated, right? Now, you know, it's like funny. You know, I'm like thinking, well, I know about three or four weeks ago I did, um, <clears throat> I did a video about L. Spence's top five wins, right? Because, you know, you want to put his top five wins and Terrence Crawford, he's always said that people always, they always say that his resume is not good. And I'm totally like against that. You know, I'm totally like Terrence Crawford's resume is not good. Mm. You call a whole lot of fighters not good, <laughs> you know. And so I broke it down a little bit in that video uh, about, you know, when you're talking about Errol Spence's top five wins. And Errol Spence's top five wins were, are Lamont Peterson, uh, you know, Danny Garcia. You know, Kell Brook, uh, you know, Keith Thurman, and Jordanus Ugas. Those would probably be his top five wins. And not really. Those are his top five wins, right? And all them people ain't undefeated. You know, all of them, you know, Ugas had four losses and 12 knockouts from 29 fights or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, I know that my penis had four losses. Thurman, uh, not Keith Thurman, but um, your boy uh, uh, Sean Porter, excuse me, I said Keith Thurman. Sean Porter maybe had one or two. You know, so it was really nobody undefeated. Now, they're PBC fighters, and because they're PBC fighters, we act like we know them. And the dudes over at top rank that were undefeated, like Jeff Horn, the undefeated, just beat Manny Pacquiao. And people just constantly continue to say he didn't beat Pacquiao. You know, and it's like, well, what part of they watched the fight, right? Said keep uh, Jeff Horn won. Then they went back and watched it because of the uh, backlash or the outcry, right? The outrage. They went back and watched it again and judged it again and gave it to Jeff Horn. So, yeah, Jeff Horn won the damn fight. So, and even those that don't believe that, that you can at least believe that Pacquiao was in a close fight against Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn was undefeated coming off of Manny Pacquiao. And let me tell you, if people don't remember, Jeff Horn was calling out everybody, even Spence. When Spence was, people weren't calling Spence out. He was calling, it didn't matter to Jeff Horn at that time. He was feeling himself. Well, he got beat by the smaller Terrence Crawford, beat pretty bad, undefeated. Jose Benavides was undefeated. The dude, Kavalakis, I don't like to say that. I like to call him Kavalakis. Kavalakis, bro. Kavalakis was undefeated. I'm not sure Ugas beats no damn Kavalakis or Jose Benavides. You know what I mean? We just say it. You know, we just, just put it out there just because he beat Pacquiao because Jeff Horn did the same thing to Pacquiao. You see what I'm saying? The same damn thing. So I'm not sure about that. But here's the thing. The point is, that's a good damn point that uh, Errol Spence hasn't beat anybody undefeated. Right. I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have thought that because, you know, Errol Spence, we just know Errol Spence is awesome, you know. But like I say before, right, just from the outside looking in, if I were to, you know, to go with who's going to win, I would go with Terrence Crawford because of the simple fact of I've seen Terrence Crawford be the smaller fighter before in many fights and have to do different things. Errol Spence is still the bigger fighter. Right. In all his fights, even if this in this fight, if he wins it, he's the bigger fighter. We're going to see Errol Spence in about two years when Errol Spence is up. You know, I can't walk down somebody that's 160 pounds. You know what I mean? But and that's when we're going to see Errol Spence is all those things that we've seen from Terrence Crawford. Right. We've seen adjustments. We've seen him being smaller and this and that. We've seen him being the bigger fighter, too. But we've seen all of that. This is third weight division. So. When you see that, you just, you know, there's a lot of versatility, versatility there, versatility there that we see and uh, we've, we've experienced. That's all it is. 
So yeah, that's that's kind of funny to me that uh, Errol Spence hasn't beat anybody undefeated, right? When it, I mean, somebody of significance, his top five fights. I don't know if, if he beat somebody earlier in his career undefeated. I didn't look before this video. I'm just saying I know them. The main fights that Errol Spence have wasn't nobody undefeated. Does that mean anything for the fight? Probably just like the rest of the stuff we be talking about. Not really. You know, Terrence Crawford said it best, you know, and Errol Spence too. You know, it's the man who trained the hardest and whose will going to stand up to the other guy on the night. Because they're both awesome regardless of what happens. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.